Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Sadwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to find the sum and average of n numbers of the array. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace I am going to write iostream.h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular brace we will write console input output.h header file and now I am going to write wide main function curly open brace and here in the declaration section I am going to declare the array of type integer that is a of 50 comma i is used for index n is number of elements and sum is a variable which is used to find out the sum next I want to even calculate average for that I am going to declare the float type of variable and I am going to take one variable called avg next we are going to write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user how many elements using cout stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I am going to write enter how many elements or simply you can ask how many elements okay and the double quotation mark and put semicolon now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using c in stream extraction operator and we are going to take this variable n over here next i am going to ask the user to enter the elements so using c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i am going to write enter the elements so backward slash n will bring the cursor down to the next line and put semicolon now i'm going to write looping construct for i is equal to we here we have declared this variable i which is used for uh, index number for array now i is equal to zero i is less than n and then i plus plus and here i'm going to receive each element at a time using c in statement so c in stream extraction operator and we are going to receive each element using this array so whose name is a and here i'm going to write index number i now i'm going to initialize sum is equal to zero in order to reset the value of this variable if i do not write sum is equal to zero then obviously this variable will be holding some value which will be executed by the previous program so that a value will be called as garbage value which is not at all required in this particular program so that's the reason we need to reset it to zero now let us go for performing some operation on each of these elements for that i have to use for loop for i is equal to zero i is less than n then i plus plus and here i'm going to use the variable sum is equal to sum plus a of i and then put semicolon and after performing sum i need to calculate average so here i'm going to calculate average that is avg variable and then i'm going to write here uh, float inside of the bracket why because it is one of the explicit type of data because i want to convert this sum integer to floating type so that's the reason we have to explicitly write float inside of the round bracket so that is called explicit type conversion i'm going to write write sum integer division by n and this value calculated value will be stored in the variable called avg now let us print the value stored in sum and avg here i'm going to write c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write sum is equal to end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator and the variable name sum and now i'm going to use stream insertion operator endl that brings the cursor down to the next line next i'm going to write c out statement i want to print the value stored in average in a double quotation mark i'm going to write average is equal to end the double quotation mark and stream insertion operator here we are going to use the variable called avg and stream insertion operator endl and here i'm going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example here i'm going to write output and then uh, once we compile and run this program it will ask the user enter how many elements here i have written enter 
how many elements so then i am going to enter for example 3 so here n value is 3 and now it is going to ask the user to enter the elements here i am going to write enter the elements and just because of this backward slash n cursor come down to the next line for example i am going to insert elements like 1 2 and 3 so it is going to receive through this iteration by seeing a statement now sum is uh, reset to 0 for i is equal to 0 i is less than n so i is 0 0 is less than n is what 3 so 0 is less than 3 yes condition is true once the condition is true then this particular statement will get executed here i'm going to write sum is equal to for the first time sum value is set to 0 plus a of i a of i is what a of 0 here if i write the numbers 1 2 3 it will be mapped in a memory such as 0 1 and 2 so here a of 0 consisting of value 1 here i'm going to write 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 will be stored in sum again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 just because of this i plus plus now i value is 1 so it is pointing to index number 1 that consisting of value 2 uh, here i is 1 less than n is 3 so 1 is less than 3 condition is true once again this particular statement will get executed so here i am going to write sum is equal to now sum value is what it is updated with 1 plus a of 1 a of 1 consisting of what 2 so 2 plus 1 gives me 3 so 3 will be stored in sum so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 2 is less than 3 yes condition is true once it is true once again this particular statement will get executed so sum is equal to sum is now 3 plus a of 2 consisting of what 3 so 3 plus 3 is 6 so 6 will be stored in sum again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is what it is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fail control comes out of the looping structure and it is going to execute the next statement it is going to execute average here i am going to write avg is equal to sum is what sum is here 6 divided by n is 3 so this gives us 2.000000 because we have converted this one into float type now we are going to print this sum and average c out so c out sum is there now so it will be printed as it is whatever you put in a double quotation mark it is going to print as it is sum is equal to and the value stored in sum here value stored in sum is what the latest value is 6 so sum is equal to 6 next average so it is going to print this statement average is equal to because it is in a double quotation mark it will be printed as it is then avg is holding what value it is 2.000000 now let us execute this program for that i'll take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error i'll press enter now let us run this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking how many elements for example i'm going to enter three and press enter enter the elements now i'm going to enter one two three and here you can see sum is equal to six and average is equal to two i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you mm -hmm.